Hey everybody, it's Ben here, and in the mail, I just got a package from Brown Dog Gadgets. Uh, this was from their Kickstarter for the Crazy Circuit system. I literally just got this, so I thought I'd open it up on camera, and we'd take a look to see what's inside. So let's come on in close. So again, this was for the Kickstarter, and full disclosure, I happen to know and love these folks. I actually met uh, Josh, the owner of Brown Dog Gadgets, through Instructables.com where both of us were working on cool projects and creating content. Um, I got the Inventor Pack, uh, with uh, pretty common with Kickstarters. There's uh, more than one level, so I went with the, uh, the level that had a, um, a reward I thought I might like. Uh, so, looks like I get a nice little letter in here. Ooh, and a coupon. That's cool. Um, it says... Thank you for participating. Uh, looks like they've got a download site using a GitHub, a forum, and a getting started PDF right on their webpage along with software and drivers. Uh, there were a couple little changes and updates, uh, which does sometimes happen during Kickstarters. And that coupon, they actually bumped that up a little bit, so that's pretty cool to see crazycircuits.com. So let's see what's actually in the inventor kit. Uh, first of all, comes in a pretty sturdy looking box. It doesn't feel like it's going to pop open by accident or anything with a clasp on the front. We've got some cards in here. Looks like they show how to use the various components, kind of flashcards. Well, that's cool. They've got the, the actual part and then also like the electrical schematic. A little of everything in here. Cool, cool, cool. And the big one, um, looking back, this is why I went with the inventors pack, was that one is the one that included the open source um, board. So they've got two different ones, the touch board and the robotics board, and this one is the uh, robotics board. Cool, so Sophie and I can build some robots with this. Uh, the robotics board has the touch inputs, but it also has these header pins uh, for going straight out to servos. So that by itself is pretty cool. Basically, it's an Arduino with capacitive touch inputs uh, built right in and uh, headers for servos and motors and things. So to go with that, looks like I got a couple of servos. Conductive tape, conductive thread, that's great for those sewing projects. Uh, some laser cut components, looks like that's to go with the servos. Um, I know that's the cross section of uh, those little pegs from the Lego Technics. Um, the whole system, all these components are designed to be uh, pretty much as, as open as possible. It's open source software on there. It's, uh, it's Arduino based. Uh, but then also, you'll see the touch holes, they actually fit right onto Lego. So this is all completely Lego compatible and conductive thread compatible and conductive tape compatible. Um, I'd also, this is a skinnier conductive tape than I've seen before. So it looks like it'll fit right between the rows of uh, Lego dots there. Batteries are included. I've got a number of little 3 volt lithium battery holders, a momentary push button, a slide switch, small push button switches, uh, yeah, slide switch momentary on. So with these, a person can literally just snap a circuit together. A switch, a battery. Uh, I've got quite a few LEDs down here, so those LEDs can all just be snapped on together. Connect them up with some uh, conductive tape. Pretty good variety of LEDs here. Um, jumbos are fun, especially for kids. Uh, I know these are some assorted colors too. I don't see a color mark on there. Uh, I'll probably have to apply power to them to see what color they are. Um, this one's pretty cool too. This is a, it's a Lego LED. So it's actually um, 
fits Legos on top of it. It's not just that it snaps down onto Legos, but you could snap additional Legos on top of it. And those ones are pretty clear what color they are. Red, green, blue. Uh, might actually be kind of fun to do like a color matching project or something like that with those. Quite a fair amount of LEDs in here. Should be able to do some fun lighting projects. Um, I know my local public library does a lot of tech and tinker with the kids, and this might be something pretty cool just to uh, take right over to the library for one of those days. Oh, also um, uh, the little tiny um, surface mount LEDs. Very, very small, kind of almost hard to see there. Um, those little teeny tiny ones take up hardly any space at all. Uh, looks like I've got, what, like five of them in here? So quite a few LEDs, different types. Um, the jumbos, the surface mounts, and the Lego style. So that's cool for variety. What else we got here? Um, it's a terminal piece, uh, just two wires um, for like a double A battery holder, for example, just has the two wires, could just screw it down in there. This is a, uh, a tip switch. It's a little bit like on a pinball machine. Um, I don't know, I'm gonna hold this up to my lavalier mic. So it's like a little tiny ball bearing um, in a tube so that can act as a, a motion trigger, you know, make a device that when you shake it, it turns on that sort of a thing. Then this one is a blink fade board. I've seen these in action. Um, you can hook up any just plain LEDs to it. And this is a pre-programmed chip. And by connecting the LED to this to a power source, it will make the um, the LED either blink or fade. I'll have to take a look at the card for how to do that. So it looks like it's just um, which hole you connect your circuit up to, whether it blinks fast or it fades. Oh, it also has outputs for alternating blink. So I'll have to play around with this one. This one looks like a kind of a Cool little device right there gets into doing something a little more fun without actual programming. On the other hand, uh, for hardcore programming, and I'm just starting to get into Arduino, so I'll probably be having some fun with this. And uh, I don't know, maybe Sophie and I get into building robots with this one real quick. Um, what else is in here? Lastly, just a little shorty USB uh, power cord. All this kind of stuff is just 5 volt USB powered. Um, that's also used for uh, programming and just a double-a battery holder let's see oh I'm sorry is this triple-a I think looks like triple-a um, so just two bare wires and of course to connect things up this little terminal block screws should work pretty well with that um, so it looks like there's quite a bit of cool stuff in here I'm gonna have some fun playing with this um, I'll probably start out doing something with some of these LEDs um, and maybe playing with that blink fade board and work my way up, probably going on into getting into uh, some robotics, build some uh, robots with a seven-year-old girl with the robotics board here. Um, I also started, I'm working on a few other um, kind of Arduino related projects lately, including a, an ammeter and a power system for my house, a, a power monitoring system. So maybe I can play around with this uh, for that as well. But boy, there's a lot, of, a lot of goodies in here. So I think I'm gonna have, have some fun with this. So there's a lot of cool components in this kit here. Um, it's gonna be pretty cool to work with the robotics board. Uh, it's just neat that all the stuff is uh, Lego compatible. You can just stick it together, um, just make circuits on a circuit board easier than you ever could on a, on a breadboard or anything else. And it's also pretty cool that it works with the conductive tape and thread. I've got a couple ideas for, I don't know, maybe a light up hat or something along those lines. Um, that's it for today. I just wanted to unbox it and show you what was in the kit. And I'll be working on some projects in the future. When I do, I'll shoot some more YouTube videos and I'll post it on my blog at 300mpg.org. So until next time, stay charged up.